Okay, we have now finally come to the conclusion of the debate. Uh, I shall put the necessary questions to the House for decision. We will first deal with Minister for Finance motion on securing Singaporeans' jobs and livelihoods. We have two substantive amendments by Mr. Pritam Singh and a consequential amendment. Mr. Pritam Singh's amendment number one is in part C of Minister Wong's motion to delete the word supports at the start of the sentence and to replace it with calls for stronger. Mr. Pritam Singh's amendment number two is to insert a new limb, F, which reads, calls on the government to proactively release information on jobs and employment prospects of Singaporeans and the costs and benefits of free trade agreements and foreign worker policies with a view to formulating better policies to ensure Singaporeans secure good jobs in Singapore and are not disadvantaged when seeking employment. If this new limb is agreed to, Mr. Pritam Singh's consequential amendment is to remove the word N at the end of Part D and to include the word N in the end of Part E. We will deal with the First Amendment by Mr. Pritam Singh to Part C of the motion, which is to delete the word supports at the start of the sentence and there to insert the words calls for stronger. So the question is that the word proposed to be left out be there left out. As many as are of that opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary say no. no. I think the no's have it. The no's have it. This amendment falls. Part C of the motion remains in its original form. Mr. Pritam Singh's amendment number two is to have a new limb, F, with words, calls on the government to proactively release information on jobs and employment prospects of Singaporeans and the costs and benefits of free trade agreements and foreign worker policies with a view to formulating better policies to ensure Singaporeans secure good jobs in Singapore and are not disadvantaged when seeking employment to be added at the end of the motion. So the question is that the words proposed to be added be there added. As many as are of that opinion say aye. aye. Did the contrary say no? No. I think the no's have it. The no's have it. The amendments to have a new limb, F, false. As a result, no consequential amendment will be made. The original question is now before the House. The question is that this House, A, acknowledges Singaporeans' anxieties about jobs and competition in a globalised and fast-changing economy. B, affirms Singapore's need to stay open and connected to the world in order to grow and prosper. C, supports government actions to manage the population of foreign manpower, ensure fair treatment by employers, and invest in education and upskilling to create more good jobs for Singaporeans. D, calls on the government to continue to update and improve its policies to secure the well-being and livelihoods of Singaporeans in an uncertain post-pandemic world. And E, deplores attempts to spread misinformation about free trade agreements like the Singapore-India Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement, or SICA, stir up racism and xenophobia, and cause fear and anxiety among Singaporeans. As many as, as are of the opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary, say no. no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. We will now deal with Mr. Leong's motion on foreign talent policy. The Mr. question is... Mr. Speaker, I, I beg your indulgence. Can the Mr. Workers' Singh? Party MPs have their dissent recorded, please? Yes, we will. All the Workers' Party members? Yes, sir. Thank you. We will now deal with Mr. Leong's motion on foreign talent policy. The question is that this parliament calls upon the government to take urgent and concrete action to address the widespread anxiety among Singaporeans on jobs and livelihoods caused by the foreign talent policy and the provisions on movement of natural persons in some free trade agreements like the Comprehensive Economic Cooperation Agreement. As many as of the opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary say no. no. I think the no's have it. The no's have it. Leader. Mr. Speaker, 
It will be a great relief to the members that I now beg to move that Parliament do now adjourn to a date to be fixed. The question is that Parliament do now adjourn to a date to be fixed. As many as of the opinion say aye. aye. To the contrary say no. I think the ayes have it. The ayes have it. So before I end, if I may just extend our congratulations to Ms. Janet Ang for her birthday yesterday and for staying on, disappearing for a short while for dinner with her family and coming back. And because it's now today, happy birthday to Mr. Zaki Mohammed as well. On that cheerful note, order, order. <laughs>